Alright, let's get back to business. We're gonna capture the city now. Did we complete the... Yes, we did complete the East India Company or whatever it was. I'm gonna smash this city. I think we can now capture it. Oops, still one more hit. There we go. And now... I think we need the navy units of the melee. Okay, we still could use this, I suppose. There we go. The reason why I did this is because I want to preserve the melee units on land. Uh, we're gonna create a puppet for now. Perfect. So what does this city have? We're gonna view it. See, does it have any wonders? I wonder. Oh, the Christy Redentor is here. That is good. This will reduce the cost of our policies, I think, by ten percent, which is not bad. Now we can focus on the capital, I believe. Oh yeah, this was a very wonderful war so far. Uh, much easier than I expected. Look at that. They do have aircraft, though. Now we're just gonna plunder their stuff. And plunder this one. There we go. I'm gonna move back in range because this is a diversion after all. Do they have any other cities? I wonder. Okay, so they have this one here. This is a very good location, by the way. Just in the middle of the continent. You know, it, it's at the pivotal location between the two continents. Uh, you know, it's like it's like the pa Panama in between North and South America, just in the middle. Yeah, it's just perfect. And once we gain the city, we gain access to Yokuda. Uh, we can send them trade routes and all that stuff. In fact, I think now we can start destroying this city. Can we destroy it? Oh, well, we need to annex them first, and then we can destroy Alright, Alright, fine. I think that's how it goes. So, yeah, because I don't need this anymore, uh, I'm gonna send these... Right here. I mean, I wonder if I can actually attack. Oh, we can't attack. Yeah, we have to. S there we go. Yeah, we cannot attack, unfortunately. And even if we do, we're gonna take a lot of damage. I don't see any anti-air units in that area, but for somehow they are gonna be able to do a lot of damage to my airplanes if I attack them directly. Well, the good news is that now we have eight airplanes in this city. The sooner we take that city, the fewer our casualties. I thought I told it to rebase. Oh, we cannot... Oh, we cannot... Uh... Huh, it looks like... The city can only fit six ships inside, which means it looks like we're gonna have to use this guy after all. We're gonna have to keep the Inuit carrier with us. Yeah, he can still attack from the... I mean, yeah, the airplanes inside this can still attack from... Karas Joka. I would like to rename the city somehow, I just don't know what to name it. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a good name in there somewhere, somewhere in my brain. You know, I don't know what to name it really. Actually, I can't actually name it until we, until we have full control over it. I suppose. Yeah, that's the case. Does this city have anything? View city. Any wonders inside? No wonders. Just a pagoda. A university and a carpentry. It's nothing special. We might as well destroy it. If we could like sell all these things, this will give us a slight amount of gold. Yeah, 
Hey, I didn't notice, but apparently there's a uh, there's a Sammy infantry down there. Interesting. We should be able to kick his ass, though. A minor defeat, really. Okay, this is a much stronger attack. Actually, we should be able to kill him with the battleship. Oh, there we go. Done. I think we have way more navy uh, admirals than we need. Yeah, still there, could be useful. And we don't need submarines either. You have three movement points, as though, as I see, yeah. Well, that's nice. Uh, what we can do is, I wonder if they, okay, I, I believe there, there used to be a navy unit here somewhere, like, at, yeah, a destroyer, a Sammy destroyer, but I believe it was destroyed. Okay, right. we're gonna kill this guy. And you know, Yokuda. I believe Yokuda is at war with the Sami, so yeah, there's no need for me to take them away from Russia. Let's just leave them there for now. On the other hand, I think I can destroy the city now. Annex. And uh, we're gonna sell a bunch of stuff. Wait, it's not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, sell this building, receive 125 gold, and this is so cheesy, look at that. I wanna sell this as well. Okay, I can't sell any other stuff. But I can now raise it, there you go. We made a profit of 125, isn't that nice? Oh yeah, but I think there's there might be some kind of uh, great work or something, I don't know. What's the name of that city? It's Divs, that's oh, okay, yeah. And this one is currently my puppet, so we might as well remove that. Move it here. You know, we could, should probably start filling up the louver. There's an amulet here. They're both from the Merithic era. Oh yeah, so most of our stuff is Merithic. We don't need that. But there has to be something else. Okay, this is from the third era, third era. All right, that's nice. First era, second era. This one is fourth. That's nice. I think we need to swap great works. Um Sophia Merethic, Sammy Merethic, let's see. The Inuit Merethic, I don't think I need that one. Although you never know, it might be useful. Oh no, we don't gain any bonus from it, so it's kind of useless. Alright, let's try the third era thingy. Yeah, we could still do this, I suppose. But no, I want to fill up the louver in any way possible. Unfortunately, the era names, I just, I don't understand them. What does first and fourth mean? I have no idea. So these are both Inuit stuff. Uh, I want to keep the fourth era stuff, yeah, I want to keep them around for now. Uh, now wait a minute, these two are 
Both from the first arrow, I'm gonna have to keep them. Oh no, this one is from the second, I see, alright, alright, fine, fine. We're gonna exchange them with something else. Now these two are Merefic, these two are first and second, there we go. Alright, we have fourth and third right there, great. We have a lot of third stuff there. Second, there we go. Swap them. There we go. All right, just want to review. Third, fourth, and two Merethic. So we need anything from the second or first. Yeah. The Inuit Merithic error, we're gonna exchange that with this one. Oh, but wait, that's from Denmark. We want to make sure that it's not from the same country as well. Yeah, that's the problem. All right, so this one is first uh, from Russia. Just want to confirm. Yes, nothing Russian there. This one is Sofia, Norway, Denmark. Good. Don't want to make any mistakes now, do we? Let's see, which one of my artifacts do I want to give you? No, wait a minute. This one is uh, this one's from Argonians. Okay. There we go. Smash. Finally, plus four extra. All of this, all of this nonsense for just four extra culture. And I'm not really making that much culture to begin with. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's not very important. So which one of my cities has the highest culture right now? Uh, Ikaluit, I think. I'm gonna shove this one here, there we go. Gonna make a lot more culture this way. Yes, our culture income actually increased by 4 because of this movement. Which is good. So we have a 3rd era, whatever. Uh, and a 4th era there. Okay. Put this here, and there we go. Plus one culture. Yeah, see, two culture from this movement only. It didn't make much of a difference there, but it's fine. It's not good. Alright, we're back on track. Let's move the great work of music. Didn't make much of a difference again, but uh, yeah, I believe so. Yeah, we have now optimized our culture, our tourism income to some extent. At least as far as the artifacts are concerned. Now we're going to turn our attention to the production. I don't think we need any more airplanes for now. Unless, of course, like maybe we lose a couple of them. We could build the Pentagon. Yeah, let's go with that. At this point, I think the only other per civilization who can actually build the Pentagon is uh, probably the Russians. I mean, I don't know. Somebody else might surprise me and build it. You never know. Okay, so we don't need this uh, submarine here anymore. Unless they somehow, the Sami, build a... Another navy unit from Anar. So we're gonna keep the submarine here for now. You're gonna sit there, do nothing. You will move forward. You will move forward. They have a bonus in friendly territory, but we can still attack them, though. I don't want to attack them because it will give, yeah, it will cause way too much damage. I'm actually going to defend for now. Good. 
there. Much better. Now, oh, wait, 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 just a minute. I'm gonna move the great general forward as well, yeah. going somewhere. And hey, we have uh, a caravel. We might as well upgrade it and have it join the war somehow. Yeah, the Inu the uh, the Sami don't have any. Oh yes, they do have. They have a city, the city of Tampir. I wonder if it's it's not even worth capturing this. I'm pretty sure the Russians can handle it. Although right now this city is getting beat. You know, look at that Helsinki. It used to be the uh, I believe this is the capital of Finland, but now it's being bombarded by the Sami, and it's already controlled by the Russians. Yes, yeah, an interesting situation around this city, yes, everyone just wants it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I am going straight for the jugular, I am gonna attack them head-on. Look at that, I can actually do significant damage with the um, infantry, but I'm not gonna do it right now, I'm just gonna wait for until all my siege units are in position. I also wanna make sure that I have some, at least a couple, like two battleships in this small narrow walkway, yeah. Soul steam. I don't think I need any more stuff, really. Yeah, I think we're doing uh, rather well so far. Maybe anti-aircraft? Yeah, let's go for the anti-aircraft. Just to <laughs> inject a little bit of variety. That's all we're doing. I keep the machine gun there. You can stay there and do nothing. And you have just been upgraded. Just gonna move you forward. I don't even know why I'm worried so much. I mean, we're doing just fine. Hmm. Not a lot of production in this city. I could buy a few things, but I don't want to. Let's go for the opera house. Yeah, it's a very weak city. Let's go for the gas plant then. Alright. We don't even need to build any more stuff. Not even the destroyers are necessary at this point. I didn't realize it would be so easy to destroy these guys. Then again, I am spamming units like crazy. I'm actually just producing more units than I expected would be necessary. Which probably indicates that I need more, you know, I, 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 practice, I suppose. I need to I need to familiarize myself with combat situations and such. Yeah, I mean, we could easily take these cities with just the navy. Then again, if the Sami didn't have so many naval cities, uh, uh, coastal cities, we probably would have would have had a harder time. Uh, yeah, we would never have been able to capture so many so quickly. We don't even need the artillery to be there. I'm actually going to send this to this coast for defense. Yeah. I'm gonna give this Argonian privateer to a, a chance to leave this area. I mean, jeez, come on. Maybe it can't. Maybe it's because uh, we don't have open borders together. Ah, oh, those such idiots. They're actually their airplanes are going after the city. I mean, what's the point? You're never gonna be able to capture it. It's completely surrounded by my troops. I mean, you can lower its health as much as you want, but you will never be able to actually have a melee unit there to gather. So yeah, the, the AI really needs to... They need to work on its priorities or something, I don't know. 
combat, at least combat AI. That's the problem. Although I am taking a bit of damage there, ouch. Hey, they have a submarine. Okay, so he's... Okay, so you made a promise with other civs to move your troops from their borders and then broke it. How did they even know? How did they even know that I made a promise to them? This is something that happened between us in private. Dude. Well, I guess we are in the, like, information era, so mass media is available. <laughs> you could say that. Okay, I'm gonna have to deal with this stupid infantry now. With a great general on top. Okay, so this cavalry is for the uh, Siberians. I thought it was for Kaisel. Good. So it's just for the Siberians. Because I don't want to have my allies under attack by the Argonians. I mean, these guys are just terrible. Look at this. They have a huge land army. Almost as big as mine. And look at that. Our happiness is actually still good. Enemy denunciation of you has expired. Uh, Nepal is no longer in denunciation situation. The Sami no longer in denunciation. Okay. Although we are at war. I would like to wipe them out completely because I don't want to... Like, their tourism is just too threatening for me. They're such an aggressive tourism for them. Oh yeah, one of my spies, I think, is no longer inside their city. Yeah, I used to have, like, a, a diplomat here. And he is now free. There we go. Now look at that. All these units gained experience. Awesome. Alright, so now this city is going to be a tough nut to crack. Just a little bit. And it has us a really powerful defense. Well, the first thing it's going to do is just uh, to plunder their stuff. I'm not even going to bother attacking. Now they do have a submarine, which is kind of which kind of pisses me off. It means if I if I bring a battleship down here somewhere, it's gonna just immediately get trashed. Yeah. So instead, I'm just gonna go after the city. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, we cannot attack. Obviously, we cannot attack cities with submarines. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, submarines are no longer necessary. Look at this. This one is really strong. Plus one range. Excellent. I oh, definitely want to have that. We can now attack from here. That's a long distance. Like we should be able to kill this guy right away. So now they have fewer infantry units. It's always nice to kill them. Oh, that was a miss move there. There we go, we're just gonna shove all our units together and the Argonian ship is just gonna have to stand there and do nothing. One, two, three, four, yes, of course. 
and uh, do nothing. <laughs> Another battleship. We're gonna stand there and try to intercept their units, maybe. Just having to make sure our destroyers are close to each other. Alright, so now we can attack their city with the airplanes. Uh, let's go. We have two triplanes there. I'm gonna take quite a bit of damage. Oh, wow. Okay. Which means we're gonna try to go after this one. We should probably upgrade these poor bastards. Yeah, so my great war bombers unfortunately took quite a bit of damage there. Alright, this one is brand new. Good. Should be able to attack the city. I would like to pillage something. What should I what should I pillage? Here's the it's an interesting question. Let's go pillage this one. There we go. I'm gonna move it forward. So that this guy can attack. There we go. Excellent. I'm gonna pillage this too. Alright, so now they have uh, slightly fewer options. Is this a hill? Okay, so there's no hill there, good. Which means we have nothing to worry about. We should be able to attack with these artillery next turn. I just have this one to worry about, which is very far. And it had just gained a new uh, promotion. I haven't been able to use these machine guns so far. I don't foresee any time when I'm actually going to need them because they're way too slow. They're mostly going to be used for defense from this point forward. Yeah. In fact, I'm not even going to move them forward. I'm just going to send them to defend something else. Yeah, you could go to Riften. It's a, it's a city of thieves. You might as well go there. What do we got? All right, interception, uh, dog fighting. Let's go for dog fighting plus one range. So, where do I want to move you? We're gonna jump from one city to another. Go to Winterhold. And stay on defense. Hmm. I don't think they have any submarines left, so I don't have anything to worry about anymore. Uh, I guess we could just have them defend. Yeah, just stay there. You can go back. You can go back to this city. Did we gain access to anything else? Alright, so now we can build a bunch of Inuks. It's good to know. In fact, we completed this farm. Yeah, we can build uh, the tobacco plantation. 
Hmm. No, we have nothing to do. Nothing to do. They had so many archaeologists just sitting around doing nothing. Silly AI. So now we have this uh, archaeologist. What we can do is we can just send them out. Yeah. And it's going to be protected by the artillery. All right, destroyer, go for boarding party and just heal yourself. You can heal yourself too. So now the submarine cannot attack my battleships because uh, it's very well defended. Now here's the problem, they're so close to each other, it's very cluttered. I'm actually gonna move this thing out. There. Yeah, we don't need the submarines anymore. That is quite clear. So now this particular battleship has like four range, three range, which means I can position it here and it can still attack Karas Joka, which is the capital. Yeah, it's just perfect. Gonna move them. Oh, he can't move. You're gonna be for defensive purposes. What we can do is we can move them all the way around here, I suppose. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we could use these guys in order to attack Tampere. We should be able to liberate some uh, Finnish cities, maybe. I believe Tampere is a, a city in Finland. So if we attack it, we can liberate it, I think. I believe that's how it goes. Yeah, we could use these. Wow, Tribunal Temple still has a Gallius? That's kind of silly. You know, we might use that infantry to attack that city in particular. Let's do that. You too. Just gonna expand our territory. I would have gone for exploration, I guess. I should go and explore. Try to find some enemies. You know, you too can go explore. Yeah, you can explore the ice regions. There's so many national wonders. Hmm. Our happiness is still doing pretty well. So we don't have to worry about that. We'll just go for the archaeologist. And we don't need any more military units. I think we're doing just fine. We're just gonna worry about uh, you know the production, the science, food, stuff like that. Just uh, your old military, uh, economic situations. I guess research lab, please. Oh yes, the hotel is actually pretty good this way. Supermarkets. We don't need the stadium. We have plenty of happiness. In fact, we want to reduce our uh, gold uh, building upkeep and such public school the amphitheater makes sense because we are trying to gain as much territory as we can go for the gas plant the bank and the hotel there we go 
city is going to be very busy for a while. We can actually improve the sheep. I think I had a worker around here somewhere. Well, there's only two of them, these two. Alright, fine. Denmark no longer denouncing me. Yeah. They should be treating me like a hero. I am de I am killing one of their tyrants, you know. But they're still pissed off at me because of the fact that I declared war on someone even though I told them that I will not be attacking them. Which is kind of sneaky of me, but uh, I'm really you, you I had no better choice to be honest. Okay, so this guy's gonna die, definitely. There we go. Still alive! What are the odds? How much health does it have? Let's see. One hit points! Landship survives. This is a hero landship. I think it's gonna take like two more turns to capture this city, but uh, we should be able to do it. Come on, I mean, there's just nothing going on. Come on. The Siberians have last have lost a good chunk of their territory. I think this was their capital. I'm not sure. Where was it? Oh, there is the cap. Okay, the new capital, I think. Actually, this is their original capital. Yeah, so they haven't lost the capital yet, but... Uh, yeah, they're not doing very well. They have a city right next door to me. And look at that, they're actually bringing a great engineer towards Tiumen. I think there's some kind of uh, building inside of this city that is giving you plus two science from uranium. Yeah, there's so much maintenance. If we want to build anything here, it's going to cost a lot of stuff. So instead, we're just going to go for the archaeologists. Man, those archaeologists are such busy work. Okay, so I, do I want to heal this? Do I want to preserve this unit or not? I mean, it's kind of useful, and it's definitely a hero. I want to celebrate this guy somehow. So if I go for heal instantly, it'll give me 50 health points immediately. What I Instead, I'm going to pillage, I think. Okay, if I can heal it with pillaging and nothing else, yeah, we could easily do that. It's still going to be a very good diversion. So, yeah. Diversion. And we're going to use this heroic battleship in order to attack the city from a distance. Does it have a great admiral? We want to make sure it does. There we go. Excellent. Alright, this guy is no longer necessary. You have been decommissioned. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, I don't think we have enough. Whoa. Okay.
Alright, so we have weakened the city considerably. We should be able to capture it next turn. With uh, these destroyers. But the most important thing is this one. No mercy, just smash them. So my great war bombers have healed slightly. I think we should be able to take the city, actually. Yeah, we have a, we have plenty of millions. Yeah, this is pretty much it. I think we've, uh, by taking the city that is full of wonders, I, our, first of all, our score will increase to ridiculous new levels. And uh, all these wonders. Yeah, because of all these wonders. And furthermore... What's going on? All right. Yeah, we're gonna lose a little bit of health. It doesn't matter. Just attack. Yeah. And furthermore, uh, we will also gain a bunch of science because of all the population. Look at this, 42. I think the population is gonna be reduced by half, so we will gain like uh, yeah, it will be like 21 population in the city, which is significant. On the other hand, they will stay in resistance for uh, like 22 turns, which is also quite a lot. There we go. There was that one try playing with that late there. Still survived. Only 8 damage. But every bit of damage is worth it. Even this one. And your capital is now mine. Oh, finally. You know, this civilization has given me so much trouble in this game. I have, I am so glad we can man finally manage to capture their stuff. Uh, we're going to create a puppet, I think. Yeah. For now. We're going to upgrade this. We're going to upgrade this. Now we have two tanks. I probably should have done that before, you know, having this guy plunder all my stuff. Yeah, he just plundered all my stuff. Okay. Anyways. Look at that. They haven't even improved this mod crab. They're so lazy. Oh, yeah, maybe because they don't have an actual... Well, here's the thing. They should have placed the city and R right here instead. So they can gain access to both inland sea here. There's an inland sea right there. I mean, this way they're completely isolated from this side, which is stupid. Anyways, uh, let's take a look at this city, see what we have. Let's view. They have built so many wonders. Ooh, uh, yeah, pretty much everything. Oh my god. The Angkor Wat, the Borobudur, they gained free missionaries earlier. Chichen Itza, Golden Ages are increased in power, Eiffel Tower. And they are all filled with a bunch of things, yeah. So beautiful. Notre Dame, which means we gained the, like a bunch of happiness as well. Taj Mahal, even... Yeah, okay, this one is no longer active because it will... You will enter the Golden Age when you... Uh, okay. 10% growth in all cities. This is, the, this is probably the reason why they have such extreme growth levels. And, of course, the Ophizi. Which was the one I was... I, I, I was Actually, I wasn't even trying to build that one, to be honest. This one is cool. 25% uh, uh, great people. Oh, my. And it contains a bunch of uh, improvements as well. Which is just perfect. All right, let's uh, check out our score. 2,637. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, how many wonders? 650 from wonders. This is probably the first time I've ever reached that much, uh, this high score from just from wonders. 650 points from wonders only. That is just insane. Uh, let's take a look at the other technology stuff from the other people. Demographics. All right, we're number one everything, finally. Then again, remember, this is King Difficulty. But if you've been with us, if you've watched this Let's Play from the beginning, you will realize just how 
uh, yeah, the Sami were ridiculously powerful in the beginning. And uh, yeah, they were pretty much ahead of everyone. They had this huge surge in science. I think it was because they were using trade routes between their cities and, you know, improving their food, growing their population to really fast. And they managed to build all the uh, national wonders and stuff like that. I was doing the exact opposite, which is, to be honest, I, w I wasn't playing very smart. I was just playing adventurous. I was just trying to have fun. And I was building a bunch of cities everywhere. I was expanding aggressively, declaring all these wars and, you know, controlling this continent. But now I've learned that, you know, expansion is... Uh, apparently this game, apparently, it doesn't, doesn't really reward expansion too much. They don't want you to expand too aggressively. Uh, the, I think that that's what the developers were thinking. They don't want you to expand too aggressively and, you know, just uh, play in one specific style. Or maybe they do want you to play in one specific style, which is to play very conservatively and not expand too much. I'm not sure. It's, it's, it's a bit of a mystery. There's a lot of debate on this situation here. Uh... But yeah, so never, nevertheless, we it, I've had a lot of fun in the last few uh, last few hours playing this, uh, just capturing this city. And once again, I still have an exam coming up, and I can't really uh, stick around too, for too long. I, once I finish my exam, I promise you, there's going to be a lot more updates. Uh, we will be, you know, I will be playing Age of Wonders. I might even try a couple of uh, even more mods for Civ Five. Uh, if you have any suggestions, any ideas, uh, feel free to suggest them. What else? I might actually... Th yeah, there's a lot of games on, on my list that I want to try, want to do a Let's Plays of. Uh, even RPG games. I realize I have neglected RPG for a while. And there's a couple of uh, old-school RPG games to be tried, like... Uh, Avernum, I think, is one of them. Avernum. I want to try Avernum 6. I think I might try playing that uh, at some point. So, yeah. If you have any games, by all means, you know, if you, that you want me to try, by all means, just tell me, and I will be happy to try them. And uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.